As the old saying goes, they're not making more land. And with the world's population set to cross the 8 billion mark this year, finding innovative ways to produce food in limited spaces has now become a priority. Enter the University of Georgia and their new hydroponics program, which has already garnered plenty of interest from both the academic and commercial side. We have a lot of students contacting us. We have uh, growers coming over with uh, questions and investment uh, uncertainties. And uh, what we are seeing is a booming industry uh, with uh, not only interest, but companies coming over and um, establishing operations. And a major reason for that is the accessibility to other markets from this central location. It's a program that could not just be beneficial to the agricultural industry from a supply standpoint, but manpower as well. We have a great uh, geographical location and we can basically make a difference in our state and in the whole southeast distributing food to different uh, states around us and guaranteeing that uh, our students, the graduates from our university, uh, have uh, the opportunity to work in the state of Georgia. One of the major fringe benefits of this style of agriculture is the positive effect it could have on the environment, as a number of the limited natural resources that go into farming could be used more efficiently. Sustainability is one of them, the ability to reduce water use, uh, fertilizer use, increase energy use, also uh, uh, reducing the food miles and guaranteeing that um, the food we uh, consume and of course we produce is benefiting the state where we are at. Now the obvious drawback to hydroponic farming is the cost and that's why Renito and his team are working hard on high value crops like strawberries to make it a more viable option. The yield that uh, strawberries provide over time allow a higher return of investment. So we are looking into optimizing uh, water management and uh, nutrient management in um, strawberries. And our goal is really to make this industry viable in terms of greenhouse and uh, vertical farming to guarantee we return that investment much faster. With this type of farming pretty much limited to leafy greens for the time being, not much information is available for other crops, which is why there will be plenty of trial and error for this research team over the next few years. We have uh, water culture methods and we have substrate uh, culture methods. And our goal there is to uh, take that risk of trialing different uh, growing methods for the growers. So that way when they decide to implement that industry uh, here in our state, they already have um, scientific information to guide their decision process. Reporting from Clark County, I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.